What's poppin' everybody? It's your girl Talitha. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So this vlog is like not even in order. My lips are swollen, but I'm about to explain why. Flashback. I'm getting numb right now. And our game plan is we're doing little by little. So we're gonna do a little more today and then Next week, if I still don't like it, we're just gonna wipe it all out. Abby, know if you like it, you, you try it. it. Yeah. So that's okay too. I thought about trying it on myself first. I was like, I'll try it on myself <laughs> and see if it works. Cause I don't know. I suppose I want to dissolve mine and start over too. You know, you always think about things like, how are we doing? Good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was a lot. Good. <laughs> I know some about it. I don't know if it's psychological or what, but it's just something about that little security blanket. A flashback. Oh, I just left my lip appointment. Y'all, we are swollen. Like, that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> with dissolving my lips the first time we went and we just dissolved a little because with the Hylinex, I was doing a lot of research and people can have negative reactions to it to the point where their lips get bigger. And that is not what I wanted. So we went in a little bit just to, you know, make me happy. So they ordered a new medication that makes dissolving completely painless. And I'm like, well, if I'm going to dissolve my whole entire lip, I'd rather wait to do that, you know, to the point where it doesn't hurt. But today she went in and dissolved a little more. And yeah, you could tell she was going crazy because <sighs> clickbait. I got botched. It's like, no. Annalise is actually the best. Like, even though I am dissolving my lips, that does not mean she is a bad injector. That does not mean she doesn't know what she's doing. I just went too big too fast. And that was, you know, like I said, a choice I made. That has nothing to do with her or her services. She was actually a nurse, like a certified nurse for six years before injecting. So if anyone's going to put needles in my face, I'm glad it's her. And she's doing this service completely complimentary. She just wants me to be happy and she wants me to look good. So... Don't nobody come for Anna, because if you do, I'm coming for you. My lips are ginormous right now. <laughs> it looks like I had an allergic reaction, especially this side, because this side had more filler in it, so she was going in on the hoe. But I know it'll look good. Probably by the time I go to bed tonight, it'll probably be a lot smaller. But right now, I'm going to go pick up my car. I miss Fifi. I'm tired of this sedan i'm a big body baddie big body ben's baddie just wait till i get my g-wagon and then it's really a wrap we're gonna go to the mercedes dealer pick my car up and then i want to go to the gym but if my lips are still this swollen i don't think i need to be in public honestly picking up my car is going to be very humbling but it's okay I'm at Starbucks right now. You know, Starbucks app, redeeming rewards. I'm like, why not? Why not? Plus my lips are swollen. I feel like I deserve it. <laughs> my toxic trait is I feel like I deserve everything. Cause I do. Not the emblem. Well, I actually have a drive through order for Tilifa. Thank you for it. All right, thank you. This always makes me nervous vlogging at drive throughs Every time, every single time, it gets me. <laughs> it's like, can they see the camera? Are you judging me? You're probably judging me. I kind of want to start this vlog off with like a little bit of an update. Um, I've been everywhere, like everywhere the past three weeks. And I don't think I've been completely honest about it. But first, the Starbucks. We have a Venti Ice Peach Green Tea Lemonade Light Ice. Because that ice be watering the drink down and I don't like it. A strawberry Puree. Gas. Six pumps of liquid cane syrup. Back to what I was saying. Um updates i feel like we need to have a conversation we need to talk we need to address some things so the things i wanted to address first and foremost let's talk about i don't even know where i want to start we're gonna talk about my faith and my christianity and where i'm at with god right now baby i have never felt so far from god in my entire life and i don't know what it is i kind of know what it is but I'm gonna call it a phase because it's gonna come to an end real soon where like I'm making choices that I know aren't good for me especially in terms of like my romantic and love life I've been acting real out of character and I'm like Talitha 
what is wrong with you i'm someone who's very hot and cold with god especially like right now because there's certain aspects of my life where i'm just like here god take it i don't want to touch it i'm giving it all to you you can have it like my job for example social media is my career i never once flinched i don't blink i don't sweat when it comes to my job because this is what god told me to do and he has already worked it out he's showing me i'm living in his promises i'm a living testimony of that so with my job and everything even though it may not be what i want it to be right now i know that god is in control of it and there's no point in you know he got it he got that thing i'm gonna let it go when it comes to like my love life and my you know me wanting to be somebody's wife <laughs> for some reason i'm like you know what god i think i'm gonna just you know put my foot in this one i want my hands in it like i want to touch it i want to be all over it because i feel like i need to have a say i don't remember if it was a comment or a dm but they told me god doesn't need us we need him and i don't know why i struggle so much to just let god have it like when it comes to love life and relationships i just for some reason i just want to do what i want to do and clearly it, it ain't working for you girl back to the situation ship thing i feel like god literally said you know what Talitha, i've given you chances to walk away you're not doing that so i'm gonna remove him and if that means you get hurt you get hurt so be it my dad likes to say that the devil has to get permission from god to touch us so if we're hurting if we're going through something it's nothing that god isn't aware of he gave the devil permission to be like you know what let her walk in that for a little bit so knowing that god will always be there for me is it's a great feeling even though i've been acting up <laughs> I just know that he won't let me get too far because I definitely stepped outside of the gate. Okay, I feel like my dog, when he runs away, I I ran, I left. And you know, I'm trying to find my way back home now. I'm trying to like be more honest with God. He already knows everything, but just what I'm feeling, my actions, like obedience and standing on my ground because I had a conversation with my best friend a week ago and she was telling me like, Talitha, you're doing things that are compromising your character and i'm like shut up <laughs> i know for a fact that i am and having someone else call me out on that is exactly what i need back to the situationship thing when i was in dallas i was completely removed from like a four-year situationship um i didn't even end it god removed me from it because i don't know what type of chokehold this man had me in but it was a strong one it was like a it was a headlock <laughs> man had me in a headlock y'all an emotional mental spiritual physical headlock i was like dating here and there with other people but for some reason like we always found our way back to each other and i feel like that's kind of toxic because either we should be together or we're not like there should be no gray area with that as a society we've been conditioned to believe that situationships the pain associated with that shouldn't matter because it's not a formal relationship but in reality i feel like that makes it hurt even more i'm being told that that wasn't your man so you can't be sad when he leaves no whether we put a title on it or not i still had a very deep emotional mental spiritual physical connection with this person and him literally icing me out like that hurts and it's okay to feel that and it's okay to live in that and go through that don't stay there but validate your emotions and feel your pain like i was living in a side girl era am i depressed no but are my little feelings hurt yeah and i'm okay with that i can say that this hurt me i just need to heal from it and though they're not actual relationships that does not negate any of the feelings experiences that y'all shared and I feel like it is okay to grieve that person. Tabitha told me that not every person you grieve is deceased and that makes perfect sense because you're moving on. In this situation, I learned that I'm worth so much more than I even think, but I need to respect myself and know when to walk away from things and when to stop entertaining things. So that's that. Second update, in terms of moving, i was watching diara's vlog love diara she's literally my inspiration for life um she was telling me or me <laughs> i took it personal okay she was talking to me i plan on buying a house like a condo and that's a property that i own i don't think it'll be my forever home but i definitely plan on living there for two to three years maybe renting it out selling it whatever but it's a home like i own it 
and I feel like I'm getting too comfortable and I don't want to say it's naivety but showing more than I need to in terms of location and house hunting and putting that stuff on the internet like you don't know who's watching and it's really easy to find someone because if I could find people I know it, it's not that hard to find me. That being said, all the places I've showed before, I've already automatically crossed them off the list, even if they were perfect. I'm not jeopardizing my safety for that. It's never that deep. And in terms of buying a home, I was put on a whole lot of game from watching her video. I'm kind of starting over and I kind of want to meet my saving goal before I continue looking. So we just going to take it day by day and in moving i'm re i'm learning to release that to god as well and just let him put me where he needs me to be and not where i want to be because clearly when i try it don't be working <laughs> but those are my little updates um my camera's about to die so i'm gonna go home and hopefully my lips aren't as swollen by the time i get back so i can go to the gym later just let me be in your life like that be your life like that it is 8 24 p.m i oh dang that lighting was so fire um you need to scoot up what are you doing went home i played with a little bit a little bit of beat production you know my new hobby it's just crazy because it takes so much time like if i'm gonna produce beats i should be editing videos like crazy the amount of time it takes i went to target i had to buy a memory card because i forgot mine at home and then i'm gonna go to the gym i'm at the gas station right now because baby fiona needs a refill can I get re? Yeah. <laughs> the following day. Hello, everybody. So today is Wednesday. It is 4:35. I'm about to go to the gym. Why is she crooked? Don't be crooked. Be straight. So we're in our gym bag. Gym bag. <laughs> we're in our gym girl bag because it's summer. It finally stopped raining here and I'm ready to be outside. No clothes. I mean, I already do that, but now I can do it and not have to worry about getting wet. Gym outfit is from Gymshark as per usual. Probably shouldn't be wearing these shorts in public, but like who cares? That's my business. You know, we put on the Brazilian boom boom lotion and oil, the routine. I like to leave at 430 and it's 436 now so i'm gonna go i'm gonna try to film in class today it's just so packed on wednesdays that like i'll be feeling kind of bad because people are you know on camera but if i get a good spot then we should be okay <laughs> from the gym i went to chick-fil-a it like it makes sense it doesn't make sense i'm not even gonna hold you because it's like you worked out and then you eat chick-fil-a yeah you don't <laughs> it's my mommy hello oh it's hot in here hi hello vlog vlog <laughs> there you go the v <laughs> hello vlog hey mom we should do something about the yellow lights in here. Terrible for vlogging. I'll do something about it. Ah, stop tickling me! Oh. I should have known better. Yes, there you go. Uh, How's that? Look at how white my teeth are. Ooh, they are white. They're white. All I see is white. <laughs> teeth and eyeballs. <laughs> Do you, you probably hear that it's raining like crazy and i was just saying like oh my god it's so nice out lies deception blasphemy so i am about to make something happen with this wig because i have to film a shein wig thing for tiktok so we're gonna put my wig skills to the test 
I bought this ginormous bowl of L'Oreal Quick Blue. That's what people said. A developer. So we're gonna we're gonna see what is if it's gonna do something for me. You know, you know, in the great words of Drake, can you do something for me? Yeah. That rain is crazy. That's, and my car is just outside taking it. That's so sad. Fiona, please don't have hail damage. Please. I feel the beach is strength. Wow. Yeah, that's what they told me to get on TikTok. It's a bleach. Mm-hmm. Well, bleach powder. Are you gonna try it on your hair? No. Yeah, I'm come afraid. on, just a little piece. I'm afraid. It'll be okay. I just had color it's not so thick and it won't be in the hair. Oh yeah. Yeah, see? Mm -hmm. What do we do if it falls off? No. <laughs> What I do, look at her, her lock. Let's take time. more time yeah. to work it in. Professional hairstylist, not really. Oh, they're so good, there's a lot of soap still in there. It looks, it looks like the color of the ones that did lift. Where it did, yeah. Mm -hmm. I have just installed the Shein wig. Y'all know I pay people to do my hair. I'm learning to do my hair, but right now I'm in the process of baby steps, like I don't, wig start to finish count me out but this like granted i know it's not perfect and it's already lifting because i didn't use glue i used got to be spray because it's just for a tiktok i wasn't trying to glue it down but i am like thoroughly impressed with how she turned out this hair from shein is like real good quality i'm really happy with the way it turned out i'm definitely gonna use this wig in particular to just like practice on um but in terms of like bleaching, tweezing, applying, you know, I think I, I think I did a little something, something. I'm about to take it off though, because tomorrow is a busy, busy, busy day, but we will cross that bridge when we get there. And yeah, it's, what time is it? 1.21 in the morning. I think that's a good time to go to bed. The next day. Hello everybody, happy Thursday. It is almost 1.30. I am on my way to pick up my best friend and her cousin. We are having like a little outing, I guess. Me and my best friend, Nayuri, we like to just, you know, spend time together. <laughs> Literally what that means is eat and then go sit at my house and watch a movie. But because she's been working so much, I haven't seen her and her cousin's in town. So we're like, we're just gonna hang out. So we're gonna go to this taco spot that she recommended. And then we're going to a rage room. And let me tell y'all something. I am excited to break some things because Talitha, mentally, emotionally, we hanging on by a thread, okay? I'm fighting demons and the demons are trying to take me out and I can't have that no more. So we're going to a rage room and then we're probably going to end up at my house at some point. Oh, Nayeri does not like being on camera. I'm going to see if her cousin, how she feels about it, but I will show as much as I can. So if you see blurred faces, that's why. I just want to make sure everyone's comfortable and you know, it's my vlog. You get to see me. So the win is a win. <laughs> to the break room. It looks kind of sketchy over here, but we don't see. Hello. I'm a crowbar so I can be like lemonade. Oh yeah, we'll go with this. this. Is and then the sledgehammer. Oh. And then we need one more. Oh, this so go ahead and put your tools down in the room and then you can put personal belongings on the couch. I don't know if it's going to fit all the way up there, but I'm built. Bro. Okay. I'm going to put this in the corner, okay? I hear it. It's right. We are back from the rage room. It's actually a lot later. I think it's going on midnight. Nairi and her cousin home. Talitha is worn out for the day. Like y'all, I am tired. See, the lashes are gone. That's how you know I'm like about to call it a night. Before I do so, I have um, 
some packages that are PR stuff, like brands who reached out to me. It's from Kurt Gear, I believe it is. They make like purses and shoes and stuff, which y'all know, shoes and purses are my thing. When they sent me these I actually picked them out with my mom in mind because she would love this this next package is from velvet caviar oh, oh nice oh my goodness they hooked me up look at <laughs> that rage room took everything from me it is so much more physically taxing I mean it felt good because I released all the demons baby I feel great I'm ready to go again it's a great way to like healthily release anger anxiety emotions like just throwing things at a wall and breaking stuff me and Irene are gonna start going like once every two weeks if not more but because it was so much on me i wanted to go to the gym but i did not plan on taking nairi back so late but since it was midnight and my gym closes at midnight we're just gonna call it a wrap and i'm going to bed so i'll see y'all tomorrow the next day good morning everybody it is friday it is 8 11 a.m on the way to the gym um i'm getting my hair done at 10 30 and i figured it makes sense to get the workout in before i get my hair done because you know i'll go to the gym after getting my hair done that's never been a problem for me but i would rather not have sweating my hair out in the back of my head you know and we're doing green hair today actually i'm not sure if she's subscribed to me on youtube but she followed me on instagram and she was like i live in denver i want to do your hair and i'm like let's do it let's do it so i think i'm starting this new like i want to make it a series of letting my subscribers slash followers do services for me because like why not y'all support me i want to support you and we can get it popping if you are like a lash tech a nail tech if you do hair anything like that and you're in denver aurora area Colorado springs let me know let me know because i would love to a you know find people who are good at what they do <laughs> and b like support y'all like i love putting y'all on so No, thank you. Hello. Yeah. Thank you. Do you want to shop? Yes, please. Have thank you so much. Day. You too. We're here with Miss Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> she commented on my Instagram that she wanted to do my hair. So I'm like, let's do it. Mm -hmm. And this is why you comment. Because you never know. You never know. Never what? know. And now she in the Talitha Jane estate mm -hmm. doing Talitha Jane's hair. Look at that. <laughs> Wait. Yes. Let me see. Oh, gosh. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> it's like, I it's love like really it. Great. Oh, that looks like really so good. Green. <laughs> that looks so good. I'm so excited. You're gonna look so cute. Yeah, let's let's put it on. You ready? The hair is finito. We got a little green. I thought it looked like an oompa loompa, but like, was her hair green or was it orange? but the green is giving it's definitely like real bold such a statement color but i like it taylor did her thing mm -hmm. he said okay google photos of shigo <laughs> oh my daughter dressed up in green I I said, what was that character on one of them cartoon shows that dresses up in green shigo 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 i look like shigo yes. thanks dad that's a compliment because okay, shigo's a baddie you didn't get to give a word. Oh, is it time for a word? Oh yeah. Is it time? Today. Um, Taylor right. asks for a word on consistency. Mm, on consistency. Okay. Consistency. Ah, uh, all right. When we think about, can you want me? To, you want me to go? You, yeah, go ahead. Okay. When we think about consistency, the best thing that comes to my mind is God's consistency. Uh, the Word of God says that He is faithful. And even when we're not, he is. And so in terms of what we are striving to do, since we're striving to be like him, we need to be consistent as well. Uh, it says that the word says he made us in his image. And so if he's consistent, we ought to be consistent. Meaning if you say you're gonna do something, do it. If you're supposed to be somewhere at a certain time, be there. If you make commitments, honor them. 
consistent. Consistency will promote you when other things won't. Be consistent. Mm. You can't be a little late. You can't be just a little bit late. If you're consistently late, I'm consistent. Then just, then just start another time to make that your time. Then you can be on time. Got you. There we go. I am consistent. Consistently late. Wise words. Wise, wise, words. wise words. Thank you very much. I'm here all week. <laughs> he is here all week. <laughs> Later. I'm home. Tabitha, my mom, and I, we went to get our eyebrows threaded. I also get my lip threaded because, baby, Steve Harvey can't have that. It was... Whew, the mustache was peeking too. But I'm about to film this haul for TikTok, y'all. Christiana Moore, okay, bad brown skin on all social media platforms. The way we are the same person and like whenever she hauls something, I have to buy it. And I know that when I haul things, she has to buy it. She posted a Skims haul, literally paid like $20 for next day shipping so I could have it because I wanted it and I'm glad I did because that girl sold it out so I'm like <laughs> I'm gonna film um it's like um some dresses little romper moment for TikTok I'll show y'all as well but first I'm gonna like fix this because it was a side part but y'all know I love my middle parts okay you can put me in a closure you can put me in a color but let me have my middle part because I'm gonna always find my way back home excuse that i was planning out outfits for this green hair but we have the first romper chris was not lying about this like i am literally obsessed like this is so good it doesn't gap in the back it stretches very well and i love it i love it like i'm going to be wearing this probably once a week and that's a fact here is the pink the pink sundress this these first two items were the exact ones that chris had in her video and she was not lying. This dress on like brown skin, dangerous. So this color is not showing up well on camera, but you know like that highlighter fluorescent yellow? Yeah. I to get it in both, well I didn't have to, I chose to get it in both colors. That is a round of applause for Kim. And a moment of silence for my bank account. The next day. Hello everybody, happy Saturday. So it is like almost 10 o'clock. Tabitha and I are leaving to take night pictures. I did two looks earlier today. I did look one, this cute like look with my, um, this cute look with my Balenciaga boots, a green flannel, and then the second look is given hot girl realness, okay? I have two more looks that I'm shooting, so a total of four looks today. Content game go crazy. Just because I'm taking this wig off, if not tomorrow, Monday and I wanted to get as much content as possible while I still have it in or on. That's a go. Fuck you. Tabitha was out and she was thinking of me and she was like, Talitha, you would love this. And she's right, because I do. And it fits the outfit so well. They got good gelato over here, bro. Gelato. You gotta go. <laughs> you and that year, you gotta go. Yeah, it looks good. Ooh, 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 ooh. Um, tilt your head down just a little bit. No, not that much. <laughs> just hold that for a little bit so I can just get a couple of pictures. Look. <laughs> Don't move. <laughs> I need you to see what you look like. <laughs> oh, that's an off guard. That's oh, those are cute. It really is. I feel like yoga. We gotta think yoga. You wanna know? Hold on. Let me tell the people something. Shout out to yoga, bro. You wanna know why? Cause that's why I got these angles, boy. Get into it. Doing the second outfit now. <laughs> it's like a Mountain Dew outfit. Well, it's not like Mountain Dew, but I took the colors. Yeah. We love that. We love that. Do y'all see her? <laughs> Do y'all see her? You can, the lady from Cat in the Head? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's better. <laughs> oh, that's oh. Sorry, vlog. Y'all get to see my uh, behind today. I think this is why I got good knees, bro. These <laughs> go crazy. Why am I be hurt so bad? I'm going to end the vlog here. It's literally 5 05 in the morning. I've been editing this video since I came home so i'm tired to be completely honest with y'all i don't feel like giving shout outs i want to go to sleep but 
I'm gonna do it because consistency trumps motivation. First and foremost, the first shout out of this video is going to Taylor. Thank you so much for doing my hair. I absolutely love it. She will be back on Tuesday. She doing another wig for me. I appreciate you reaching out. I appreciate your work and it's only up from here. The second shout out is going to Dom underscore works hard, period, Alexandra McCoy. I like the username because let it let it speak for you thank you so much for watching the vlogs the third shout out for this video is going to i i'm not even gonna try i'm so sorry let me know how you say that give me the phonetic version please but you are a baddie mm -hmm. she looks good yeah your skin is amazing thank you to everyone who watches the vlogs as per usual if you want a shout out for me comment the green heart and save my instagram post y'all the green hair content is about to go crazy. So get that green heart ready to go because I'm not stopping for like the next week, week and a half, just content, straight content. And that's why I'm exhausted right now because I have not let up. <laughs> but I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you on Sunday with a new video. Oh, 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 oh.